Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, the situation, of course, going on in the Middle East is starting to heat up. Uh, very, very serious what we have going on on the ground. Uh, this was coming out yesterday uh, about U.S. bases being struck inside of Syria. Also, there were strato tankers that went up in flames over Iraq. <clears throat> 20 missiles, according to this uh, report here. I think Al Turner was the first one to actually bring this information out. And uh, all the U.S. bases, which is basically three of those that are on the Syrian-Iraqi border, have been hit. Uh, the United States also has already begun to go in with airstrikes as U.S. Uh, launches airstrikes against the Iranian RIGC and affiliates targets in Syria in retaliation for early Iranian-affiliated drone strikes that killed one U.S. contractor and injured five soldiers. Uh, <clears throat> that's what's being reported there. We also have two... Uh, according to RT News, Ukraine is not ready for an offensive, according to Zelensky. The Japanese uh, newspaper Yamarui uh, said that, <clears throat> that, he, that the situation of the front line was not good, explained that Kiev's forces lacked enough ammunition to launch an operation. On the subject of, the, uh, of an offensive, Zelensky stated that we can't start yet without tanks, artillery, and U.S. supplied rocket launchers, HIMARS. We cannot send our brave soldiers to the front lines. But, of course, Zelensky fails to tell everybody that he's been selling everything he's been getting anyway over to Turkey and other people out there in the Middle East. What's he selling it all to them for? Well, I guess to get good money, get kicks, get paybacks. Or is it really because they're building up an offensive for a future Gog of Magog war? At least that's the way they'll title it, coming up against Israel. Instead, Zelensky is making sure they have plenty of ammunition, plenty of bombs and everything else for, for the Turks to be able to carry that type of strike out. I already know that the intel community uh, in the United States is saying that Turkey is the Magog, uh, the Gog of Magog, and that they're looking at Erdogan as to be that, that Satan that sits on that seat there. So I, I'm watching as this whole thing is being built up, and uh, it's going to be very interesting because they are creating their own stage. They are making this to try to look like it's going to fit biblical prophecy all along. Look who's involved in it. Look at Zelensky, you know, the very puppet that was placed in there. Uh, I don't have to say what kind of puppet he is. You already know what kind of puppet he is. Uh, the U.S. is controlling him, but not only the U.S. is controlling him, but uh, they're put, pumping all this military aid in there. They're claiming they don't have enough, and yet he's had more military aid than any country in the world. In fact, actually topping some countries' military annual budgets already. And he can't seem to be able to have enough of that to be able to fight a war against Russia inside the country. Uh, well, of course not. Not when you're selling it to Turkey and to uh, over into the different militants that are fighting factions in the northwestern part of Syria that the Turks control. Uh, the uh, the White Helmets and uh, and all these other uh, fighting factions that are there that will go against Israel in the near future. That's a bit odd, if you ask me, but not surprisingly so. Uh, anyway, I'm going to close out for this morning here. We're going through a very difficult time here uh, at Israeli News Live. Uh, my father passed away last night. Uh, we had came down to Florida uh, two days ago because I knew this time was coming. And um, uh, so keep us in prayer, uh, the whole family. The, the nice thing was is uh, the whole family was able to be there at his side. And... Uh, it was uh, even the people uh, at the hospital said they'd never seen that much family members uh, pour out. In 13 years, one man that worked there, I uh, said, in 13 years I've been here, I've never seen this much family pour out for one individual like that. He said it was one of the most beautiful things he'd ever saw. So he was able to, to pass in peace and in comfort. Uh, we were glad of that. Um, and uh, he suffered very serious dementia, late stage, and... Uh, but uh, all, of the, all of this takes a heavy toll, uh, uh, you know, in every way you can possibly imagine. So we thank you. We thank you for your support of this broadcast as well. IsraeliNewsLive.org. For those of you that are tuning in for the first time, IsraeliNewsLive.org is our website. Uh, so if you ever want to see what's going on, you can check us out there. In fact, this one here, I won't even read the title. Uh, you know, that has been stopped by Netanyahu, but it wouldn't have been stopped if it had not been the outpouring uh, voices of Christians putting pressure on him. Wait till America begins to suffer and go down, and there is no voice that can get out there to Netanyahu. 
when he knows that no one else is really paying attention, then what you see here will take place. It's only a matter of time, and I'm about to really blow the lid off of a lot of things. We are now getting a green light where we can begin to share things, so I will be doing a very special broadcast coming up very soon, and it's not going to be very pleasant for many. You will find out the truth, what happened to our family. Uh, you will find out a lot of details that we've held back now for over a year. And uh, when people speak against us for making that stand for the things that we have brought out here on Israeli News Live, uh, that has come with a tremendous price to our family. And uh, we'll be able to share those things finally with you. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you again for your support for this broadcast. If you want to donate, you can do so online or by mail, as you can see on the screen.